Orcas are the ocean's ultimate apex predator. Their high intelligence, complex social structures, cooperative hunting strategies, and ability to echolocate allows them to hunt almost anything in the water. Their predatory success is enhanced by a powerful streamlined body that allows them to reach speeds up to 50 kilometers per hour. They can take on great white sharks, sperm whales, and even boats. The only marine mammals known to intentionally confront mammal-eating orcas and successfully chase them away are humpback whales. Over 100 incidents of humpback whales defending seals, dolphins, and other whales have been documented since the 1950s. And it probably happens way more than we realize because these battles usually take place far offshore. But what is it that drives these humpbacks to save other animals? And haven't we seen other animals like pilot whales chase off killer whales? Well, pilot whales are harassing the ecotypes that only eat fish. These killer whales don't eat marine mammals, so they are not really a threat to the pilot whale. Which is why I said humpback whales are the only marine mammals known to intentionally confront the mammal-eating orcas. Studies on the mobbing behavior of humpback whales found that when humpbacks approached killer whales, 93% of the time, it was a mammal-eating ecotype and more than 87% of the time, the orcas were actively attacking or feeding. These battles come at an enormous cost to the humpbacks. They sometimes travel several kilometers just to reach the battlefield, and the fighting is vicious and intense, often lasting more than an hour, sometimes up to seven hours. That is an enormous amount of energy they're burning, not to mention they're risking life-threatening injuries. These adult humpbacks are coming to the rescue before they even know what species is being threatened. That's where the mystery deepens, because the humpback whales stay and fight the killer whales, regardless of the species under attack. This study on the behavior found that of 115 documented interactions between humpbacks and killer whales, only 11% of the time were the orcas attacking juvenile humpbacks. The other 89% of the time, the orcas were targeting different species like seals, sea lions, or gray whales. In some cases, humpbacks were even observed putting seals on their bellies to keep them safe from the killer whales. 